In this video, we're going to cover how to manage Python packages and modules or libraries, whatever you want to call them, um, with an Anaconda environment. Um, so if you check out the other video, and I'll try to remember to link a card to that above, um, we went through how to create and delete environments in Anaconda in the video previous to this one. Um, also, go ahead and check out opensourceoptions.com where I have tutorials and courses if you're interested in more content. So let's start by opening up our Anaconda prompt. So I'm going to go to my Anaconda 3 prompt here. And let's just take a look at the environments we have so we can select one of them. So I'm going to type uh, Conda ENV list and this will list my environments. Might take just a second to do that. And as you can see right now, I only have the base environment installed. So let's go ahead and create a new one. So let's go conda create dash dash name. And we'll call this, um, we'll call this Py36. And we'll say, or Py37. And we'll say Python equals 3.7 for Python version 3.7. We're going to go ahead, create this environment. This is going to take just a minute to do. Okay, and now we can hit yes to proceed. And it's going to install and download the necessary packages so we have an environment. Okay, so now let's go ahead and activate that environment by doing conda, conda activate pi37. So now our environment's activated. And from this point, it's really easy to install packages. We can just use conda install. So let's say I want to install GDAL, which is a common package for geographic data manipulation. So I can do conda install GDAL. And it's going to install it on this environment. Take just a second to do this. You can also use pip to install packages, and I'll show you how to do that here in just a minute. I'm just going to say proceed. And this one might take a little while to install, um, but let's just, we'll just give it a chance to do it. Okay, so now that is installed, um, and we can check to make sure it's installed. So if we want to see all the packages installed with this current environment, we can do conda list. This is going to take just a second, but you can see that we have all these packages installed for this current environment. You can see GDAL is one of those. If I want to list information for just a single package, I can do conda list dash F for full name and type GDAL. Okay, and there you have it. And so that shows us GDAL. Now, let me show you how you can install a package from PIP. So let's say I try to do conda install, I'm not sure if this will work or not, conda install spotpy, which is a, a package for model calibration and parameter estimation. Let's hit enter and see if conda finds this one or not. Okay, it's actually going to find it. Okay, it didn't find it. So it couldn't find it in any of the current channels. Let's say I want to install, install this with pip. You can do this the same way you would with pip normally. So we'll just do python to use python to install dash n pip install spotpy. And I'm going to hit enter. And we're going to get spotpy installed here in just a second once this gets going. Okay, and so you can see that spotpy was installed here. So now I can do, uh, let's do conda list and we'll list all the packages to make sure that this shows up in there. You can see SpotPy shows up there. And we can do also do conda list dash f uh, SpotPy. As I just realized that my I didn't in increase my text, so I hope that this is has been big enough for you throughout this video. Okay, so I made that a little bigger there now. Maybe too late though. Now, what if I want to list the packages for another environment? Well, that's easy to do. I'm just going to type conda list dash n 
base. So base is my other environment I have here. And tells I want a list for the pet or for the environment with this name. Let's go ahead and click hit enter. And base has a lot of packages installed. It's the one I generally use, so it's going to take a minute to do this. There we go. So now you can see that I've listed these for base. And you can see I have a lot more packages here on base than I had for Pi 37. Okay. And let's see, uh, let's do conda list. And we can stream these together. So you can do conda list dash n base dash f. Um, let's look for GDAL. GDAL should be installed on base. And that should show it up, show up here. Okay, there you go. So I have GDAL version 3.0.2 on base. And I can do conda list dash n base dash f numpy numpy. And that's going to show me numpy with the numpy version. And so this is how you can see what packages you have and how you can install additional packages with um, pip and with conda. Now I'm going to show you one more thing, and this could be important because maybe you want to see only the packages you've used that you've installed with conda. And so we can do conda list dash dash no dash pip, and this will show us only the ones we've installed with conda. And so when I do this, spot pi should not show up on the list. So let's go ahead and check this. Okay, and you see oh, spot pi did show up there, and it came from pi pi. Okay. So I'm not sure why it did that, because I did install it with pip. Anyway, I'll look into that and see if I can figure out exactly why that's happening, and we're, we're still seeing spot pi. It could be because it's registered under a different channel, um, even though I installed it with pip and not with um, conda. Anyway, that's how you can manage your conda packages, how you can install them um, into a specific environment. So thanks for watching this video. And again, go ahead and check out opensourceoptions.com for more content and more information. Have a great day.